Hi there, welcome to our 2020 second quarter video commentary. My name is Geneva Stegmuller. I am a wealth management consultant. Today, I am joined by Mike Gallagher, Director of Investments here at the Partners Group. Welcome, Mike. It's great to have you with us again. Hi, Geneva. Thanks for having Hi. me. Hi. Wow. What, what a second quarter we just had, right? Talk about a roller coaster. It certainly feels like it. Yes, the uh, second quarter was, uh, was great. Uh, we're, we're certainly not out of the woods yet. Um, but the mood flipped from extreme pessimism in, in the first quarter to optimism in the second quarter. And that was reflected into uh, so, some pretty significant increases in stock prices. Sure. Um, you know, I've heard some investors are waiting to invest cash as they are skeptical the market recovery is real. What are your thoughts? It, it does seem odd on the surface that uh, we still have a, a pandemic millions of people are out of work, yet the stock market or the S&P 500 is, is close to all time highs. Um, however, if you look under the hood, uh, we do think the market's being a little more rational than, than at first thought. Not all stocks are, are close to all time highs. Uh, really, it's a handful of, of industries and stocks like technology uh, that are doing very well in this environment. Uh, and the, that's helping to boost the overall stock market index level because it's actually the biggest uh, constituent or, or weight in the market index. Mm -hmm. um, but there's other things like, you know, industrial stocks, financial stocks, uh, even small company stocks, where those are more economically sensitive and still, you know, around 20% below their highs. In terms of waiting to invest cash, we saw similar behavior after the 2008 recession. Um, and unfortunately, some people felt like that recovery wasn't real um, and remained in cash for you know a decade of pretty spectacular returns. So you know if you if you wait to invest until it feels good, you're most definitely higher buying in at higher prices. So we recommend putting a, a plan together for systematic uh, reinvestments back into the market. Got it. Um... You know, in your commentary, you mentioned lagging versus forward looking economic indicators. Can you explain the difference between those? Sure. So, uh, you know, the economic statistics like GDP, unemployment, uh, the unemployment rate are, are thrown around. And those are, you know, those are important statistics, but those are looking backwards. So over the last quarter or two quarters. So not very helpful in telling us where the economy is headed. Um, there are other indicators, though, like uh, no, the number of people filing for uh, unemployment benefits, um, building permits, uh, you know, how the, how the consumer feels about spending money looking forward. And those are more helpful in, in helping determine where the economy is headed. Got it. Um, I, I know that in your commentary, you talked about earnings. Um, that are expected to take a big hit this year. Um, the, the market, do you, do you think, them, is the market reflecting that reality? I, I think the market is looking forward to 2021 earnings. And right now it's expected that earnings, while they are gonna be down big in, in 2020, are going to recover in, in 2021. Um, so I think that's reasonable to, to look ahead. It's kind of like owning a rental property, like I mentioned in, in the commentary. You know, if you have go through a period of time where you don't have any rental income, it doesn't make that property worth any less. It's, it's usually based on, you know, how much it, it normally earns. And I think the same thing is, is happening in the stock market. That makes sense. Um, you know, I know our investment committee meets on a monthly uh, basis and, and during this time period there, there were times, there were months where we met more often. Can you give me some insight into the committee's market outlook? So when you look at all of our research uh, in, in our indicators, we are, uh, we're not overly optimistic, uh, but we're not overly pessimistic. So we're, we're kind of right in the middle. In fact, our portfolios, the, the equity allocation and client portfolios are right in the middle of the, the allowable range that, that we can invest in. Um, in terms of the mix of, of equities, uh, we have made some adjustments over the quarter to reflect things like being more uh, favorable of, of cloud-based in, in biotech companies versus not having a positive outlook on things like commercial real estate. Got it. Well, Mike, 
as always, it was, uh, you, you make the most technical subjects so much easier to understand. As usual, we, we look forward to your next quarterly commentary, and I hope you have a great summer. Thanks, Geneva. Good to see you. Thank you. And, and remember, if, if anybody out there has any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to our team here at the Partners Group. We love hearing from you guys. Have a good one.